Welcome to readtheticker.com. The chart in front of you is the GEX ETF Gold Miners. Now if you're a Wyckoff Logic Trader, what you want to find is a nice little bottom that shows good little accumulation that is um, sideways. Now we all know what happened to the gold stocks recently. We had an accumulation in down the bottom here and have taken up from, you know, $12 to $30. They've pretty much doubled. If you were a Wyckoff Logic Trader, you would have read this accumulation pattern and you would have seen that the, what went on in this zone here was different than what went on in over here. Now, actually, in truth, they are really one big massive accumulation. But when you watch this pattern here, you saw there was no interest in selling and there was decent, uh, decent um, accumulation coming in. The point of the story is you want to find similar patterns like the GDX when they occur in stocks, sectors and indices. Now the way we do that at readtheticker.com, we go to our scanner. And here's our swing scanner. Let's make it fit the screen for you. It's the PNF wave scanner. Now I have the settings set to for members using the step statistics. I want a, at least a nine month sideways movement and I want a high concentration of closes within the step. So I want it for minus 95 because it's minus 95 because it's the uh, move is going down. And you can do one of the other good things to decide is to sort on whether the stock or index is above the 20 month. EMA. So these are trending up and these are trending down. Here's a couple of stocks that I found that of interest. Walgreen. It's been trending up quite nicely. And as you can see, it's been going sideways for some months. So what we want to do, we wish to study the price and volume action in here with the Wyckoff logic rules. And we can see here that um, yeah, I'll probably go, yeah. Bit of a spring here. Or a test, I should say. Another test there. It's holding up. Nice tight oscillation here. I would think this stock would become very attractive once the strength shows up that it's real and it gets above 85. And then that'll be considered. Uh, you can obviously take a chance at the support line, but only with short, a short little bit of capital. But as you can see, the volume is picking up here. That's a good sign. Let's go down the daily chart. Momentum is moving up. Oh, here's a daily chart, uh, daily chart here. In the daily chart, we want to see what's going on with our high and low volume. So this this high volume here is in the right place. This high volume here is in the wrong place because the price went up and it sold into in resistance support. So that's why things slowed down. Once again, this volume here is in the wrong place. But as you can see, the volume coming up, this is accumulation. And the price is staying in a tight range. So you can see that there is um, definitely a building up of accumulation by the professionals. Another point to note here, price was dragged down from resistance here. There's more accumulation going on. They, dr they drag prices down to scare the, the public to sell. More volume in there. Oops, can't see it's off screen. So I would, see that I would suggest this Walgreen uh, WEA, WBA, has been accumulated and I would watch for the stock to jump the creek. Uh, let's say, watch for um, a slow creep up here. It may not happen the next month, you just got to keep an eye on it. But eventually the stock's going to rise. And once it gets above 84, 85, you're really going to look for a position because it's going higher. Obviously, depending on general market conditions, momentum is warming up. Yep, definitely warming up there. Okay, what's, what else of interest? Here's the monthly chart. There you go. Nice little pattern there. Another stock of interest is, what's this one here? This is, what the hell is that one? Humania. I think it's a healthcare stock. Once again, we did our scan. We've got a nice sideways consolidation here. You'll see what sort of volume is going here. Okay, we had stopping volume over here. So we had volume just smashed it down. 
There's some interesting volume going on here from the low. So when you see high volume coming in from the low side of support, that is the professionals buying because they don't want to buy at the highs, they want to buy at the lows. So we get the, we have two volume indicators here, one which is uh, coloured relative to the close of the bar. So you get a low close, it's going to be red, you get a high close, you're going to be blue. The indicator below that is uh, the purple is uh, high volume, the grey is moderate volume, and the yellow is low volume. So you want to know what's going on with your chart at these three levels. Now, if price is rising on low to moderate volume, that means it's going up with very good ease of movement. There's not a lot of force that's stopping it. Uh, when you have high volume, um, that means the professionals and the specialists are getting involved. They come involved, sorry, they get involved at extreme lows for accumulation or at highs for distribution. So you've got to see what's going on and see where the volume is fitting in and sitting in the right place. So let's go down to the week. Oh, let's go down to the. You go to the weekly chart. So this long run up here, this was um, this is really pumped up for the shorts sellers to get in there. High volume smash down. So we're just going to slow the trend down for a bit. And as you can see here, this is very interesting action. I think it was the brick signet. High volume people dumping it, losing a bit of faith. And then the, uh, sorry, the high volume dragging it down, and then the high volume punching it back up. So it's a um, pretty much a, a transfer of um, float from the weak hands to the strong hands there. Defending of support, all the stops. So you, the other good news is it stops are busted. So the professionals have been down there busting all the weak hands and trying to get them out of the game. And this is looking strong. And I would still wonder what confirmation when it gets to one, 190 uh, and then for higher prices. So... Accumulation is definitely going on in this stock. Momentum has um, made a big change to the upside. Just want to see it a little bit more proving that it's worthwhile to go up. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yep. On the daily chart, yeah, we see the um, these wide ranging bars pushing price up. And then the volume just didn't come in. That was pretty much pumped up to sell short them to. You want to see nice, tight range going up like that. And then eventually, because unfortunately here there was no demand, so it didn't go any further. So, you want to see it go up like that, hold, and then go higher. But there's definitely accumulation going on in here. But the battle rage is on. But for, before you want to get excited about going long, you really want to see it settle above 190 and then go higher. The moral of the story is you want to be able to find good tight consolidations. Uh, you want to see um, where uh, the, the professionals have done their shaking out and pushing the public out of the out of the stock. You want to see price starting to move up on low to moderate volume. It's under control by, by the professionals. But first, you have to start with the accumulation phase, and you really have to have a scanning tool to find that. With this tool, you can actually scan, do the same thing for sectors. I'll scroll. Uh, so that last scan was on SP500. If I go down to, uh, where are we? Let's just go down to asset class, which has got bonds, stocks, industries, foreign exchange, everything in it. So we want to find, um, oh, there's nothing there. That's not good. Oh. Okay, so let's go. Let's lower the months to six. Okay, just play around with it. So here we, here we have a minimum of six months accumulation at a low. We've got one above the EMA 20 moving average. And that happens to be, what's this, IBB. Okay, that's all your Biotex. We know Biotex had a sell-off recently. What else we got? Uh, we get crude oil warming up. What's that one? Switzerland, oh, Europe, yeah, Let's have a look at that one as well. So we're, we're looking for sideways patterns that we can uh, see what the accumulation is going on. Oh, yeah, okay, so here's IBB. We've shown a bit of a step down here. Whoops. A strong volume. Okay. The point about it is we want to find sideways patterns. 
and we want to prove that the accumulation is strong. So once we get confidence that the accumulation is done, all the shakeouts have been of the public have uh, been executed by professionals. Then we realise it's ready to go, just like the gold stocks. We want to, we, we watch the gold stocks. We saw that all the shaking out had done, and then the big rally came. Uh, sorry, came. Yep. So we had two very high spurts of volume on the way down. There's a bit of accumulation going on here. This is why we had the sideways pattern. Yeah, what happened there? Yeah, a bit of selling coming in there to hold it back a bit. See how this bar was dragged down in quite high volume and then it reversed and even less volume? That was just too easy for the professional, so that's definitely a change there that's gone up. Yeah. If that was really damaging to the downside, it would have taken out the lows that the support held. So that was, um, uh, if it best the results was poor, so that was bullish. What else do we have here? So the momentum there, the momentum definitely improved. RTT Trend Power OVV gave a signal there. Gave one there, but it flat didn't go do, do so good, but this one here worked. Momentum improving. RTT Trend Power OVV is a volume weighted index. This is just purely price. This is a uh, momentum 310. Indicator. So yep, well, you know, that was easy to pick. Down here, let's have a DBO. What's uh, going on with the oil ETF? Yeah, so we've got a bit of um, bit of big volume. The thing about ETFs, their volume is a little bit different stocks because they, the float grows when it wants to grow. They don't issue shares; it just grows because there's more money coming in. But yeah, that's definitely looking attractive, isn't it? Big volume there, the volume dies off. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely stopping volume there, you can see that, can't you? All that volume there, getting the stuff going down. It's testing the bottom again, to keep an eye on that. Momentum is swinging up. If you go to the uh, blog post, you'll see that um, there's a blog post talking about crude oil, crude oil's accumulation lines. And um, DBO is an ETF of the crude oil, so you can see how that uh, this is still working its accumulation. So, if you see your accumulation in crude oil, you want to scan the stocks uh, for similar patterns. So, so, I think we'll do that. So, we go to uh, XLE, isn't it? Uh, XLE, here we go. Okay, so we've got no stocks over the EMA 20, this is 20 month EMA, so what else we got over here, we've got some pretty high volume stocks, 16 minutes rig, oh I think that's, what's we got, BI, what we got, well this here's the RTT trend rank, this is the highest trend score, so we'll have a look at the highest one, BHI. Because it has a pretty much depressed sector, but we are do seeing some sort of accumulation going on in the crude oil. So let's see how hard it's affected the stock. The whole point is we are trying to find similar setups. Oh, there you go. We're trying to find similar setups like the gold stocks with nice little base patterns. We might see some accumulation and we can piggyback on once all the shakeouts have all happened. So you know, there's a little wide range here. There's up bar here, as you can see. If you look here. Big strong up bar volume and the retracement has been pretty poor so this is strength here and it's above that the dotted line is 60% from the high so it's like a little automatic retracement tool so let's have a look going on down here or is it the same thing yep so that's looking pretty good I'll keep an eye on that one so momentum is swinging up it's just a pure price indicator let's go look at the dailies Right, so preliminary supply here and demand came in there. That would probably be a climax there. I think we call that a climax because of the highest volume and it's spoke. Uh, yeah. But hard to call that a, anyway. Yeah, oh yeah, you know, we'll, 
go to the climax test there, coming off support. Well, that's not right. I'll change, change, I'm changing my story, I think. Because, because there's two large volume swings, there's two large volumes on the bottom. Uh, low volume there, that was a good test of that, so that's okay. So, we'll, yeah, we'll go with the story. This is, we'll call this, this is the climax, selling climax here. And the secondary test was about here. And there's not that much damage to the BRICS exit. And you can see that's warming up quite nicely. So there is some, some accumulation going on there. So go, I'll keep an eye on this one here. Uh, once again, you'll be watching how it gets in the upper range. Any tight little pattern up there is going higher. That was BHI. Momentum is looking good. Momentum indicator we use is the Momentum 310. And here's the trend power RTT OBV showing yes, it's you know warming up because it's above the minus 15 line. If you want a similarity, look at the pattern here. The pattern over here, the stock acts the same way. Tight little swings and accumulation. So if crude oil does start accumulating in the raw commodity, I think this stock's going to follow a similar pattern. So look at the big monthly chart. Yeah, okay, so big. Some, the other good news is that this accumulation is going at near long term support. So, yep, if crude oil is going up, this is going to go up with it. The other good news is that shortening of the thrust. Here we had um, thrust down, thrust down, thrust down. So each time the thrust shortened on lesser volume, so the selling supply has dwindled. Now yeah, there's another good sign. And as you can see, they're quite interesting. It's on this on this movement average here. You see this movement average coming down? It's, um, what is that? That's the 12 simply moving average. That's a 12 year trend. So watch that. Yeah, volume pressure to the upside. That's BHI, Baker Hughes. What do they do? I have no flipping idea. Let's have a look. It's up here you've got our quick links to other professional stock sites. Let's have a look. Uh, Yahoo Finance. I'll tell us what they do. Yeah, profile. Oh dear. A bit slow enough. Uh, basic materials, all gas and services. Uh, wow, it's quite a big one. Well, obviously, you can go to websites and work out what they do. You can go to what's that one? It's the Myers BHI. See how their earnings forecasts are. Oh, yeah, they're picking up, so that's why probably why it's turning around. People are starting to pick it up, ticking their EPS here. So that's why it's starting to turn around, because the crude oil might be turning around. What's that? That is Y charts. We've got fins, options, this ETF, that's big charts, stock consultant. Short squeeze. Let's have a look at stock consultant, shall we? Stock consultant, there we go. Yeah, all the trend lines there, but as you can see, it's warming up. Here's the profile. Let's see. Here you can see the news of what, why Baker Hughes is turning out. The base is coming down to crude oil. Um, Accumulation patterns going on. Now here's stock consultants. You can pop out and see what's going on there if you're into that sort of stuff. Right. Okay. Well, I have also I've set up a few other things. This is a remind me button. I've loaded it up with my Wyckoff logic remind me, or my uh, volume spread analysis type rules. If I want to analyze volume bars, spread and volume, basic Wyckoff logic. So I'm going to just check things off that my mind is set. It'll remind me quite well. I can pump my notes in if I want to make a comment. News, 
Oh yeah, this is Cliff Alpha. This is quite good. Here we, we take the BHI and we automatically map it against the SPY or the sector. Now, obviously because it's a downtrending stock, the um, relative strength against um, the SPY is poor. Let's have a look against the sector. As ah, the BHI, this is interesting. BHI is against the sector OIH, I think, which is all gas and equipment. And as you can see, it's a, it's a relatively positive strength stock in the sector. So that's why it's getting the first um, choice favoritism if crude oil swings back up with accumulation. So yeah, see that little move up there versus the sector? It's getting preference. So the point about it is you want to find little accumulations. Same way we found the GDX, you want to see what's the accumulation pattern. And this is the only way you really have a chance of getting at the bottom is see the accumulation and start to and start the um, Wyckoff analysis to follow the ride up. Thanks very much for watching.